Hello everyone. Did you know that you can have Das Studio render an image while you work on the next scene at the same time? Sounds exciting. Let's take a look at it. There's two ways of getting this accomplished. One is by installing a completely different version of Das Studio in parallel to the one that you've got going right now. And there's also an option to run a clever little script that will essentially start up a second instance of the one that is currently running. Let's talk about both options and see what is beneficial to you and which one you should go with if you're interested in this type of workflow. So the first one is to install the Das Studio beta version. And that is a separate product that you have to buy from the store. You can get it from here. It's das3d.com forward slash das hyphen studio hyphen beta. And that will, you'd have to add this to your cart and then check out it's a free product, but it will then show up in your install manager and you can install it. It'll be a completely independent version. It'll access the same content as your current one, but they'll both be completely independent. So you can use the interface completely differently from the other one and you can render with either of them. The scenes are compatible when you save it in one, the other one will be able to pick it up. Just know that there are version differences every once in a while. So not many. The beta is usually slightly ahead of the release version that you usually have access to. And um, if once you've bought it, once you've checked out with it in install manager, you have to head over here to the download filters and just make sure you see these things. So if you click that and then scroll under downloads here to the very bottom, you see these release channel tags here. One is the public build, one is the publishing build, and one's the private build. So even with all of these disabled, this is, I think this is what it comes as as default. You will see the regular release channel. And by enabling these filters, you will see additional channels that may be popping up in your products. So once you hit accept, then you can go and scroll down to wherever you see something popping up in yellow. Red is the publishing build. You probably don't want to use that unless you're a vendor. You don't have access to it if you're not a vendor. And uh, this is how it would appear. Like look for anything yellow that will show you the public build. And it also says beta here. Uh, this one's for Hexagon, but for Das Studio, it'll be the same. You can just go and search for Das Studio. And then the current release version is 4.15. Might be different by the time you're watching this video. But if I go and type this in, then this will filter out what's, what's available here. And everything in yellow is a second version. Now I have my already installed hence mine is on the install tab and here it is das studio 4.15 win 64-bit public build and once you've done that you will have access to a completely different version of das studio so one of mine is already running this is the release version here and i've got a scene going here i can navigate and all that but i can now also go and head over to my other version here and load that and that will now launch side by side. You can see the version number here. That's also available if you head over to help about Das Studio. That will also show you the version number and you might see slight differences here. So there we go. Now I can move around here. I can load up scenes in here while going back to my other instance and kicking off a render this way. That's kind of cool. So that's a very good way of working, but the, you may run into small inconsistencies and that's usually the beta being slightly further ahead means that some improvements have been made, like a newer version of iRay might be in the beta that is not in the release version. And if you render with one and you try to switch over to the iRay preview in the other, that sometimes throws off the denoiser. You could run into issues like that. So, you know, just be aware of that. Usually uh, if you save a scene in the beta version and pick it up in the other one when you're ready, that's usually not causing a problem. So that is a way that you can work. Let me go and close the beta down again because there is a second way that you can work and that is by running a clever little script inside Das Studio that will launch a second instance of the same version. So if you don't want to use the beta version approach, you can also use the script. I have it installed here. One of my supporters, Patrick, has sent this to me. He found that on the Das forum. The, one of the guys who works for Das, Rob, he has authored this. So under author, you can see Rob, website dasready.com. It's been made for version 4.12. 
but it still seems to do an adequate job in DAS Studio 4.15. So I'm going to link to my website where I've stashed a copy of this. I hope I'm allowed to distribute this. Patrick found this in a DAS forum thread that I sadly I can't find anymore. So I only had access to this script and I've uploaded it to my website. So feel free to grab it from there. And if this is not okay, DAS, please let me know. I'll take it down immediately. I just think it's a very handy tool to have. So the way this works is once you've copied this somewhere, double click it and this little window comes up here and that says named application instance. And what you have to do here is tick this box that it says start process. And as soon as you hit accept, then watch what happens. A new instance of the same version of DAS Studio will launch. You can do this multiple times if you feel like doing that. I don't recommend using more than two instances at the same time. And I also don't recommend that you render with more than one instance at the same time. So um, this is now the same version. This is not a different version now. This is the same version. And you can see that the little square brackets at the bottom will tell you it's actually the same version. So help about DAS Studio will show you the version at the very top here, version 4.15.0.2 pro version and then you've got this in brackets you've got a one so that means this is now instance one versus instance zero which is what the previous one was so just to prove a point then i can go here to my first instance and hit Control r let this scene render which will take some time and while das studio is slaving away here rendering my snowman i can go into my other scene and then head over and go and load other figures as i see fit and build scenes and all that so i find that very very exciting and that means you can probably be a little bit more efficient than you might have been before yeah one instance working on my next scene and then going back to the other one and checking the progress of what the render is doing there we go very cool two instances of das studio who would have thought Obviously, it goes without saying, use either of these options completely at your own risk and try it out before you put this into production workflow. If it helps, awesome. If not, then don't be surprised. I think if this was an officially supported solution, I think we'd have an option for that built into DAS Studio. The fact that we don't probably means there, there can be issues or it can be overtaxing on systems. I don't know. The guys must have done more testing than I have. I just find it very convenient to have this on occasion while a render is going on in the background. I can just spin up a new instance and just keep working on something or look at something, grab a screenshot of something or, you know, whatever, organize my library, whatnot. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. I hope this was helpful and I will hopefully see you soon. Take care. Bye bye.